हे गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शेयर द टॉप टेन इसेंशियल स्किल्स टू मास्टर रिएक्ट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल हैव अ सॉलिड एंड कम्प्लीट सेट ऑफ रोड मैप टू फॉलो इन ऑर्डर टू बिकम अ सक्सेसफुल एंड प्रोफिटेबल रिएक्ट डेवलपर नाउ माई इंटेंशन बिहाइंड क्रिएटिंग दिस वीडियो इज टू हेल्प यू लर्न रिएक्ट इन एज मच लेस अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम एज पॉसिबल सो लेट्स जम्प राइट इन टू द वीडियो नाउ बिफोर जम्पिंग इन टू रिएक्ट First of all you need to learn the basics which includes HTML CSS and JavaScript Now these three technologies are considered as the core foundation of web development as HTML makes the foundation CSS makes it visually appealing and JavaScript adds in the logic so at the end of the day no matter you use react or any other framework out there such as angular your code needs to be converted to HTML CSS and JavaScript to make the browser understand all this so if you want to learn react in 2024 you need to have at least the basic idea of them so what i recommend is that don't learn complete html as it will take you hours and hours to master html alone instead just learn the basics of html learn about the most common tags such as heading paragraph image table and lists in html i also suggest knowing about the semantic tags in html as well similarly for css i recommend to learn layout design using flexbox learn about box model color and typography these are the common concepts that every website these days uses to create a visually appealing design and user experience finally for javascript which is responsible to embed logic and dynamic behavior in a website i would recommend to learn the basic syntax of this amazing programming language of the web then i would suggest you to learn es6 or the modern javascript as it holds most of the concepts that are used in react such as spread operator rest operator destructuring arrays and objects and many many more so at this point you are ready to get your hands dirty with react now in order to become a solid react developer you need to master these skills so among the top 10 skills to master react in 2024 on number 1 we have react hooks React hooks with functional components are how React website is built in these days. React components have the JSX code which is responsible to create the structure of a website and hooks are the logic part that creates dynamic behavior to make a complete front end web application. So learn how React hooks work, learn the most important hooks in React such as use state, use ref and use effect. Also learn how performance in React apps can be improved with additional hooks such as use memo and And use callback etc also if you learn how to create your own custom hooks it would be even better and this is how you can learn react in less amount of time and get the solid understanding of react now as you know react already so it is the best time to invest in next js the technology that claims to be the complete react framework and it is true a lot of companies these days are moving to next js due to their seo friendly architecture server side rendering and a lot more advantages now here you might have a question that do i need to learn a complete new framework again and here is the fun thing that next js uses the same react except it introduces some new concepts and features to help make web development even more rich and modern and similar to react where you have a great documentation to learn react next js do have its own documentation which is pretty easy to learn next js from the ground up so in short next js will make your react apps much more scalable and performant allowing better user experience now it comes the third skill which you should learn to master react in 2024 and that is react redux now with pure react you do have the state management but it is not sufficient for your large applications with tens of components so here it comes redux it creates an app store for states and components can use these states in the entire application without any top level or down level issues with react and redux you can create any application you can think of next we have tailwind css now tailwind css is getting more popular these days and people prefer it over bootstrap as a css framework i also love tailwind css it's so amazing that you have full control over your application design and 
and even you get theme customization of your app and other controls as well. Also you can create custom Tailwind classes. The nice thing that I like about Tailwind CSS over plain CSS is that you don't need any CSS file and work on side by side with multiple files. Instead you have your logic, JSX and styling all in one place which makes it so powerful and thus react with Tailwind CSS is preferred these days. Now the problem with Bootstrap however is that the design created in Bootstrap looks much more similar and you have no full control over your design. Next skill that I recommend to have is Formic. Now Formic is another cool package that you can use to work with forms and input fields. It really makes the validation and handling form submissions easier. As every website holds a form these days and with Formic working with forms becomes super simple and yet powerful. Next we have React Virtualized. Now you might have come up on YouTube or other platforms that has infinite scroll. So to prevent the loading and performance issues in this type of situation where you have such a large list of data and you don't want to load the entire data at once. Here React Virtualized plays a key role to handle this specific problem. And thus as you can see React Virtualized has a lot of good ratings and support from developers on GitHub. The next skill that comes in our list is React Spring. Now introducing animations in React was very difficult in early creation. However with React Spring this issue is handled with an iron hand. And with React Spring you can create beautiful animations and smooth transitions for your elements to make your website looks cool and attractive. Next we have TypeScript. Now imagine if you have some mistake in your React app. You don't get error in your VS code but instead you need to look at the Chrome developer console tab to find the issue. Now with TypeScript which is the super set of JavaScript and is the programming language that adds in some extra features such as type checking to your ordinary plain JavaScript. You can immediately get your errors in your editor terminal so this is amazing. Apart from this TypeScript will help manage your code a lot and after using TypeScript once you will not use plain JavaScript again. And that is why TypeScript comes in the list of the most loved programming language among developers. Next in the row we have React Native. Now if you are a web developer and you also want to create a mobile app. Here React Native is the best choice to pick up. React Native is the leading technology used by many big companies. It is used to create cross-platform mobile applications for both Android and iOS. With React Native alone, you can create both Android and iOS mobile apps. Now in terms of learning, you only need to learn React Native components to create the mobile app design and rest of the code remains the same. Like you have the same JavaScript for the logic part. The hooks and components remains the same as well. Finally you should be familiar with GitHub and hosting. Hosting allows you to host your applications and make your applications become online and available for the entire world to see. The best hosting services you can look at are AWS hosting, Netlify and Vercel. And GitHub on the other hand is also a hosting service to host your code online and it is the largest community of code sharing among developers. You can collaborate with developers as well. Which means an application can be created with many people living in various locations all around the world. Thanks to GitHub. Now here comes the bonus part. If you want to really learn React and become a master of it, do create as many projects as you can. Create an e-commerce app, a social media application etc. You can also create clones of different applications and guys this is the best way to learn any skill. So guys I hope you enjoyed this video. At last thanks a lot for watching and I want to mention if you are looking to learn backend or frontend and want a complete guide for each of them watch these videos.